Hey everybody, it's Garrett from Garrett Outdoors, and uh, today I'm doing a little bit of internet research. I'm in the middle of a career change. Made a play towards something else, and it looks like it's going to be panning out. Things are looking good. I'm not going anywhere though, so don't worry about it. I'll always be here for you guys. But anyways, this career change is going to force me... Um, to be in a new area though. I'm not going to move or anything, but I do have a bit of a travel I'll have to do daily and uh, it's going to put me in mostly unfamiliar waters. So I'm using the internet here and I'm researching the area I'm going to be in. And let me show you how I'm doing it. Alright, well, I'll tell you right now, this is not where I'll be relocating myself to during the day. But I did find this interesting because this is an old airport that's for sale. It comes with a big long runway. Hangar with a lot of pavement here. Looks like a big pond. And then what is this? A little miniature hangar. Some kind of a garage. Maybe for uh, emergency equipment or something along those lines. I don't know. And then there's a house. Seriously, though, who would not want their own airport? It's awesome. But for this example, we're going to use the airport as being an example of, let's say, this is where I would be relocating to during my work day. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a look at it, and I'm going to zoom out using Google Maps. And I'm going to look around here and see what's in the immediate area. If there's anything noteworthy you know like a gun range a police station a fire department or some sort of emergency services uh, looks like actually we have a propane place here so that could be interesting um, so looks like we have a drag strip that's kind of cool so that's interesting. What's the water like? You know, if I power went out, is there any immediate water resources here? In this example, I see right here we do have a pond. And then if I couldn't access that or that was contaminated for whatever reason, what would be my next option? Well, it looks like over here we have a pond. And that's on private property of a farm. It looks like a farm. I see a couple silos here. This is... A junkyard? I don't, I don't know. No, it looks like another, another kind of farm, but I don't know what's going on with it. Looks like they have a lot of debris here, so maybe that water so source is contaminated too. You maybe, maybe there's oil or other chemicals, or maybe that's some kind of a drainage where they get pesticides in there. So maybe that one's contaminated as well. So I'm going to zoom out and see what else is around here. And I see a couple more ponds here and here, another one here, and then right here, I got a nice stream and looks like a, a creek of some sort going through a mostly wooded area. Now that water, being it's a, a stream, like I said, some kind of creek or stream, I'm willing to bet that that water is moving. Moving water isn't always safe to drink, but it might be a better option than some of these ponds where there could be runoff, like I said, of pesticides uh, or, you know, a lot of droppings or something like that in there. Next, let me see here. If there was any sort of an incident, whether there was a fire, a major storm, uh, even an active shooter situation, where could I take shelter? You know, let's say I was going to be in the hangar here. Where nearby? Where's my nearest shelter point outside of the hangar? Well, there isn't a whole lot around this hangar. Uh, looks like it would be maybe over here in this structure. That looks like the closest thing. Next, maybe I could take shelter in the uh, tree line here, inside here. Maybe there's a safe place to hide up in there. Next, I see there's a, uh, a clearing in the trees here, which means it's probably 
see the way that's a straight line and then there's a slight turn and then it's a straight line again that tells me that there is probably some kind of a utility line here and if you look here you can see two poles and you see their shadows so this is a power line yep and there's another one right there and I bet you yep another one right there it looks like so I have a major power line nearby and then ultimately since there's nothing too stand out ish here about anything nearby looks like a bunch of houses a couple small businesses some farms a couple different utility lines uh, there's no shortage of water and it looks like there's this West Branch French Creek Conservation Area, so that area is protected, which means in a bad situation it's probably going to be full of uh, resources if I ever needed it to be. But I'm going to zoom out here, I'm going to take a look. So this would be the spot, and let's say I'm trying to figure out, you know, my route. Let's say I'm coming from down here. And I'm going to normally, we'll say, for the purpose of this video, we're going to say this Lowville Cafe is my home and the airport here is my work. So it looks like I would probably take this route here to up here to it. So I can't think of very many instances where I'm going to worry about taking alternate routes from home to work if there's ever a situation. Chances are I'm not too worried about getting to work. But if I'm at work and I need to get home, and my usual route, which looks like it would be coming out here and then coming down here, let's say there's some kind of a blockage. Or, you know, a severe storm has put trees across the road and there's civil unrest, whatever. What are my alternate routes? Well, it looks like I could take this road, but that's going to combine here. Where's my next one? So let's say I come over here, all the way over here to this Phillipsville place, down here, and across. What if I had to take it by foot? What if I was trying to avoid being seen? Well, maybe I'd come over here, get into this uh, conservation area, and it looks like that's practically a straight shot. I got wooded areas and water and cover all the way almost to my make-believe home location so that would be good and then ultimately what kind of a distance am I looking at from my work location to my home location well as the crow flies as they say it looks like it'd be just over two miles realistically if I'm on foot I'm gonna be taking more of a zigzag area probably like I said trying to keep covered or if I'm in a hurry and that's not a situation where I need to be covered I'm gonna be following the roadways if I'm on foot so let's go with this I start my point there here here and that looks like that would take me 2.66 miles so that gives me an idea on that so now that I've had a chance to take a look at the area and uh, get a perspective on it, uh, and I've taken the time to go through the individual routes that I might take to get there uh, or to leave there if I needed to evacuate, the next best thing would be to get actually out there and drive on those routes. You know, print off screenshots or maps of the area pre-plan the routes and then get out there and check them out and uh, see if there's anything out there that I can't see on the computer screen that's going to let me know hey this is going to be a problem or you may want to avoid this area for this reason or you might see something that would make you prefer that route over the others so I might do that I might get out there and do some exploring like I said this this place I was showing you is an example but Depending on the weather, I might get out there and check it out tomorrow, the actual real location. Hey Alexa, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Erie, Pennsylvania. Look for lots of clouds and thunderstorms, with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 70 degrees. Sounds pretty nice. I might actually get out there and do that. If I do make it out there, 
and I find something noteworthy or something I feel like I could share with you that I haven't already shared in this video, I think uh, I'll bring you guys along. But uh, if I don't find anything noteworthy, then I might not. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. I'm not making any promises. Well, you guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video of me doing some research, or basically an example of how I'm doing my research, part of it anyways. And uh, maybe you guys got some insight from it. Maybe you're better at this than me. Let me know down in the comment box. Let me know what you do to basically scope out an area before you go there. Especially if it's like a new job and you're going to be spending a lot of time there. And as always, you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, hit me up in the comment box below. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.